You've probably seen those cool 3D images generated from text prompts, like when you type in something like a red car on a green field, and you get a 3D image that matches the description. But now there's something much more advanced. ByteDance has developed a new model called MV Dream, which isn't just another 3D rendering tool, it's actually groundbreaking. It can create realistic 3D shapes based on different 2D views. Not only that, but it can also learn new ideas and concepts. So it's not just making 3D images from text, it's taking 3D rendering to a whole new level. MV Dream is a new technology created by researchers from ByteDance, the same company that made TikTok, and it stands for Multiview Diffusion for 3D Generation, and it uses a special kind of math model to create these 3D shapes. MV Dream is special because it makes really detailed and high-quality 3D shapes from 2D pictures taken from different angles. The 3D shapes look great, are true to the original images, and can be different types of objects. There are two big problems that other similar tools often face. One is called the Janus problem where a shape looks like two different things depending on the angle you look at it from. The second issue is content drift, which means the shape doesn't really match the original images or text prompts. It's like asking for a picture of a cat and getting something that looks more like a dog. MV Dream fixes these problems. It uses a type of math model that is good at making shapes that are consistent from all angles and match the original images or text prompts. It does this using stable diffusion and something called nerfs to make sure the shapes look good and stay true to the original. Stable diffusion starts with random visual noise and cleans it up step by step to form a detailed 3D shape. A special type of neural network called a diffusion decoder helps in this. It takes some initial information along with noise and refines it over several steps to make a 3D shape. This method is reliable, so it doesn't make weird or distorted shapes. It's also versatile, allowing for a variety of shapes by tweaking the noise levels. Nerfs, or neural radiance fields, help in making these 3D shapes look realistic from any angle. They use another type of neural network called a multi-view encoder, which takes several 2D pictures of an object from different angles. This network turns those pictures into a sort of code that holds all the important details of that object. Nerfs are good at capturing all the intricate details like shadows and reflections, and they give a complete 3D view, not just the parts you can see. So MV Dream combines these two methods into multi-view diffusion, MVD, which allows it to make high-quality 3D shapes that you can view from different angles. The researchers tested MV Dream on a variety of tasks that involved adapting between different types of data, like language and images. They compared it with other models like VoxelGAN, PointFlow, and DIBR to see how good it is at making 3D shapes that look like the real thing. They used four different ways to check the quality of these 3D shapes. FID, PSNR, SSIM, and IOU. These are technical measures that look at how closely the shapes made by the computer match real shapes in terms of things like their structure, appearance, and how much they overlap. The test results showed MV Dream was better than the other models in all these measures. This means it is really good at making 3D shapes that closely resemble the real ones. You can even see the difference when you look at shapes made by this model and the other models. The ones from MV Dream look smoother, clearer, and more like the real thing. The researchers also conducted an experiment that demonstrates MV Dream's capacity to learn new concepts and generate 3D views of specific objects, like a dog. To do this, they gave MV Dream both a text description and multiple 2D pictures. The experiment showed that the model can make really good 3D images of things it hasn't seen before, like different kinds of dogs in various poses. The team also made a new collection of 3D shapes called the MV Dream Dataset. This has over 100,000 3D shapes in it, like cars, chairs, and planes, all from different angles. This dataset was used to teach MV Dream how to do its job, and anyone else can use it too for their research on making 3D images. It can do a bunch of cool things like fixing incomplete shapes, blending two shapes into one, editing shapes, and finding similar shapes in a database. For example, if you have a car that's missing a tire in a 3D model, MV Dream can fill in that missing part. It can also smoothly transition from one shape to another, like going from a round table to a square one. You can even change the look of a shape, like its color or size. 
And if you're looking for something specific, MV Dream can find shapes that are similar to what you're looking for. That said, MV Dream isn't perfect. One issue is that the shapes it creates aren't super high quality. They're a bit blurry because the resolution is only 256 x 256 pixels. Another problem is that it can only make shapes similar to what it was trained on. So if you're looking for something really unique or complicated, it might not be able to handle that. The people who made MV Dream think some of these issues can be fixed by using a bigger model, like SDXL. But using a bigger model is more expensive and complicated. So there's still work to be done, but MV Dream is already pretty awesome for a lot of things. And that's it for today. If you found this interesting, please like the video and subscribe for more news on AI. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when new videos are up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.